Australia is one of the sunniest places in the world. And rooftop solar has driven Australia to a new renewable energy record. In fact, we now hold the record for the most solar panels installed per capita for any country anywhere in the world. Last year, rooftop solar eclipsed coal power in energy generation in Australia. By 2030, Australia will hit more than 80% renewable energy. And we lead the world when it comes to solar panel installations on our home roofs. In fact, one state in Australia can run on solar power alone on sunny days. Australia is transforming itself and it's becoming a renewable energy superpower. Who would have thought the coal loving country would have changed so quickly? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers and welcome back everyone else. Thank you for tuning in. What a great day it is. A perfect sunny day outside. I should be outside in the sun. No, I shouldn't because I need to tell you about what's going on here in Australia. For the first time ever, on the 19th of August 2022, solar power eclipsed coal power, and this was a pretty historic moment. But even more important than that, solar power has been adopted by more people in Australia per capita than any other country in the world. Yes, we have a lot of sun, and we're taking advantage of it. So much so that for a time, when South Australia, one of the states of Australia, when its grid was isolated from another grid, our grid in Victoria, the energy market operator asked solar panel owners to turn off their solar panels because there was too much solar in the grid. Basically, solar was creating too much power for the grid to handle. Seriously. So they resorted to crazy tactics like going around to people's houses and sneakily turning off their solar generators. Now, while that was happening, an equally historic thing was happening in Western Australia, which is the largest state in the world. Incredible uptake of home solar PV systems has steered Western Australia to a new peak for instantaneous renewable share with clean energy, including rooftop and large scale solar, providing a record 81% of the total electricity generated in the state's wholesale electricity market. This was a new record for instantaneous renewable energy share and was set at approximately 12.30 p.m. on the 12th of November. Not even really the summer. It's still the spring. We haven't come to summer yet, so it's quite surprising to see this result. You can imagine how good this is going to be for the summer period in Western Australia. Rooftop solar is insanely popular in Western Australia. And the thing is, this number, 81%, it's a record. But only a month before that, they hit 76%. Where will we be in Western Australia by the end of the year? More than likely, 90%. Renewables supplied nearly 40% of total electricity generated in WA last week, setting a new instantaneous renewables record of 81% on Saturday, up 1.3% from the previous record. The thing is, New records just keep getting set. The media keeps reporting, oh, we hit a new record. A week later, we hit a new record. A week later, we hit a new record. My friends, this is the future of the global energy market. New record after new record after new record. Data provided by the government shows that in 2021, Western Australian households added 191 megawatts of generation capacity to their rooftops, bringing the total amount of residential solar capacity in the state's main grid to two gigawatt of renewable energy generation. But that was in 2021. In 2022, that number has risen drastically. However, there is a good reason for why this is happening in Western Australia before it has happened in places like Victoria and Tasmania. Western Australian residents get more sun than any other place in Australia. The Bureau of Meteorology data shows that Perth, the state capital, averages 8.8 .8 hours of sunlight per day, eclipsing Darwin with 8.5 hours, Brisbane with 8.2 hours, and Adelaide with 7.7 .7 hours. So what about people in Brisbane? Well, Brisbane is part of the state of Queensland. And Queensland has hit around 45% energy generation from solar. So they've still got a ways to go, but they'll most certainly get there because it also makes a lot of sense for people in Queensland to install solar as well. So how did this work out overall? Because obviously during the nighttime, solar generation doesn't happen in these states. 
Well, in South Australia, the combination of wind and solar contributes around 35% of the state's energy needs. But just imagine if South Australia had battery storage. That's all they need. They have an excess of solar power generation, and that number is actually only increasing. So they need somewhere to store it. Well, it's only a matter of time before that extra solar energy is stored in batteries, which can then be used at night. So how are we looking overall as an entire country here in Australia? Well, in terms of rooftop solar, its share of renewables has hit around 38% this year. And Australia has set renewable energy records for the fifth year in a row, with more than one in every four households generating power from their own roof. Of course, some people can't. They're renters, so they can't actually install solar panels, or they might live in an apartment block. So one in four is actually a very good number. Renewable energy delivered around one third, 33% of the electricity in the national electricity market in Australia in 2021, jumping to 36% in the final quarter of last year. We're on track to hit 40% this year and 82% by 2030. 2021 was actually the fifth record-breaking year in a row for rooftop solar as Australians installed approximately 380,000 new systems with a combined capacity of 3.2 gigawatts. Now, probably doesn't sound like a whole lot for you guys in America or you guys in Europe or even you guys in Canada as well, the UK, but we only have 25 million people in this country. So actually, the number is pretty big. What this means is that Australians are installing rooftop solar like never before. And rooftop solar panels and small batteries are driving Australia's rapid shift towards renewable energy. Around 33% of all detached homes in Australia's grid have solar panels installed. By 2030, it's expected this number will hit 65%. What does this mean for the future of electric cars? It more than likely means that the majority of electric vehicle owners, even when electric vehicles become mainstream, will be powered by either renewable energy from the grid or renewable energy from their own solar panels. This, my friends, is an amazing future. Australians are going to have much cleaner air and a much better future to look forward to, not only for themselves, but also for their children. You've got to say, this is a really good thing. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.